Hey guys, my name is Sigabio21 and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Pearl. We are going to go through Stark Mountain today. It's gonna be awesome. Do you know why it's gonna be awesome? Because, 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 because. Okay, we need, we do need Rock Smash, okay. This area actually looks a little different in Platinum and here you actually encounter Mars and Jupiter from Team Galactic in Platinum. I already said that. And you also encounter Sh Sharon, or how are you pronounce his name? Charon? I don't know. So, ah, I don't know. But he's a character that doesn't exist in this game. He exists only in Platinum. And you don't fight him in Platinum either, so uh, there is that. Okay, good. Yang is able to learn Rock Smash, so let's teach it to her in place of Recover. It's not like we really use Recover that much anyway, so... Anyway, the fight with Mars and Jupiter is not here in Platinum, so we just gotta deal with this. Rock smash it up, and then strength it up. Yeah, let's use strength. And don't worry, we can push this boulder down the stairs. Like this. This place has some really cool music. I mean, just listen to that. Just listen to that. Don't know why this strength boulder's here. It's really... Can't be moved. Can't be tamed. Miley Cyrus. Escape rope. Excellent! I forgot to stock up on those, even though I probably have a bunch. Can I check? Mm. Okay, I don't have any. Cool. Okay, I have three now. Let's just keep that on the escape I'm used to the escape rope being the first item, and I don't know why. I don't think it ever was the first item in my inventory. Nothing there. Gonna pee pee up. I've, I've got a bunch of these at this point. Probably sell them because I don't think I need them. I do not think that I need them. No need. No, no need here. Uh, Consuela from Family Guy, which I still don't watch. Although, in all honesty, I'm kind of considering watching the crossover with The Simpsons because it's The Simpsons and. Yeah, I still like The Simpsons. Even though it's not as good as it was before, I don't think it's terrible. Like so many other people think. There were very... There are a bunch of solid episodes from season 25. The, the one with the submarine. The one with the pirating of movies. The one with... Oh, uh, yeah. The, obviously the Lego one. People are going to remember season 25. They're going to remember the Lego, the Lego episode. And there was one other. The referee one. Yeah, in Brazil. That one accompanied the World Cup. It was awesome. Oh, do you have anything to say, Barry? Darn it! What was that all about? Oh, hey, Josh, that buck guy whoop, whip, wiped us. Eh. Oh, man, there's always tough trainers around everywhere. But you know, losing means I have room to become even tougher. That's why there's the Battle Tower in the Battle Zone. Yeah, I'm just advertising that place, aren't you, Stark Mountain? This is a huge place. Hey, Josh, right? You, your zippity little buddy challenged me to a battle earlier. Yeah, I owed the, owned the little dude. Made sure he was taught a lesson. But I don't know if I could beat him again next time, why not? Seriously, you're bound to run into tough trainers wherever you go. Anyway, I found out about this place, but the Pokémon here are tough. What do you say we team up and go together? Yeah, sure. Okay, this is the fifth and final one of the stat trainers, and hopefully his AI will not suck. Let's see him in action right now, in fact. Against an ace trainer and a black belt. Hold on, I gotta move. Okay, here we go. Probably not gonna show this entire battle, although Tyrogue and Dodrio are, I mean, Dodrio are both Pokemon we haven't really seen yet. He has got a Claydol, specializing in special defense, and I do know that for a fact. I remembered, I'm not, I'm not derping like I did last time. Uh, Metal Burst. Guys, I have a feeling that Ty. No, he's not. Okay. So, I guess Evan's not really gonna get to do anything this turn. I predicted poorly. Because a Tyrogue's just a support Pokemon. Holy crap, Clay Doll is in trouble. Ancient power, come on. Let's beat him. Yeah! Yeah! Meet that Dodrio, but be 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 Watched it. Okay, Tyro. Okay, good. <laughs> now that I know that Tyrogue is pretty much a worthless piece of crap for the other side, yeah, it's no big deal. 
Oh yeah, I played all this faster now because that. If Tyrogue faints, which he will, yeah. Does that mean Helping Hand no longer works this turn? Maybe we'll find out this turn. Okay. Let's see. Okay, he barely. Played all barely. Oh, come on! Sheesh. Evan isn't getting to do anything. Okay, okay. This time, I'm sure that Breloom will use some sort of fighting type move. Okay, you're stealing my thunder at this point, Cleo. <laughs> okay, last time I had a stat trainer, it barely did anything for me, and now that I have a different stat trainer, it's the opposite way. He's doing all the work, and and I'm sucking it up. Never. Oh crap. Okay, well that, that's not gonna be good. But will this trigger metal burst? That's my question. That's what I want to know. Okay, it does. So this Dodrio is done. Like, dinner. It's not a Pidgeot, but it'll work. Turns out that was a good move after all. Okay. We're gonna get some experience. We're at a level 60. Yeah! Alright, so I'll continue to show battles. I mean, show these guys as they come new. Okay, we've seen Haunch grow. It all depends on what else they have to show us. Mm, Marowak. Okay. Marowak's fine by me. Marowak. Marowak. I'm gonna use Metal Burst. Again. Yeah. Okay, that's a good move. That's a good move. Beat that Marowak. Beat that Marowak. Beat that Marowak. Beat that Marowak. Oh, did not beat. Dark Pulse, eh? Okay, that don't... Clay Doll's done. Looks like I have to carry the rest of this battle. Even though I don't want to. Okay, Marowak can use Bone Rush. I don't think Evan can survive that, actually, so... Especially since of the multi-hit move. <sighs> Okay, 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 okay. Who should I sound out next? Probably Bato. Because now I'm covering two Pokemon and one of them can fly. So let's just surf it up. That'll get rid of Marowak. I don't know how much Honchkrow is going to be down, but yeah. I actually would have expected Honchkrow to be faster than Bato, because, like I said, Empoleon's not that fast. Double KO! Nice. And I, and I say that with confidence because there's no way Marowak's gonna be surviving this. No way. Uh, I just realized I probably should have gotten the laundry sorted out before I started recording this episode. <laughs> Fero, eh? Okay. I like Fero. I really do. Let's use Ice Beam. I may like you, Fero, but you're not gonna last long with this Ice Beam in play. Man, we're just we're just seeing so many new Pokemon this, this let's I mean this part of Let's Play. First four episodes of the after game, we barely saw anything new. Okay, actually in the fourth episode we did see quite a few new things, but first three then. But here we're just seeing all sorts. Okay, who who is honestly called Ray? I mean there's Billy Ray Cyrus, but he doesn't count because that's kind of a two-part name. Right. Okay. No, I, that did have a purpose, because I'm gonna switch Christian out to the front. I still need to teach Christian Poison Fang. I think after I do what I need to do in Stark Mountain, I will do the thing. I will teach Poison Fang back. I need a Calcium. You know what, maybe I should stop playing for now, save this part for later, when the slowdown's not gonna happen. So, hold on, next time I play is gonna be a new recording. Okay, new day, time to play Pearl A. And yes, I planned that ahead of time. Just in case you were wondering, I'm such a genius at coming up with uh, transitional segments, don't you think? I'm trying to figure out what that was I was doing. What? Oh. Oh, okay, okay. You can't use rock climb if you have a, a stat trainer with you. I need to turn the sound up. Hold on. Okay, finally. And here is a new face. It's my cargo. It's a fire rock type. If you've seen... I was gonna compare it to Mega Camerupt. Let's use a Super Repel. We're gonna need it. How are we gonna get through here? Can't go here because Rock Climb is out of the question. Any items that you want to get that require rock, rock Climb to get, eh? You need to wait until you lose Buck. So, there's that. 
But don't think that having Buck with you is a bad thing because he actually allows you to do a very important side quest. Well, it's not important to beating the game because you already did that, but uh, we've heard the stories. There's some legendary Pokemon in here. Well, just one, but still. Okay. I think Christian will be good. Yeah. Ace Trainers, I have a variety of things, so I think I should be good at it either way. <clears throat> okay. We're all good to go. We just have to battle now. Eh. You're just preparing for something? Why don't you battle each other? I mean, you've seen each other. You have Aerodactyl and Kangaskhan, both of which are new, and Kangaskhan is something that I am very afraid of because they are such great Pokemon. I'm not even kidding about that. I need to stop snorting. Is Glynol even capable of handling an Aerodactyl? Probably, because, uh... Ah, uh, Psychic. That's my best guess, at least. Did Claydol have Psychic before? Ah, uh, crud. That's gonna leave a mark. That is not going to be good for me. Especially when that Aerodactyl's the same level as Christian. Okay, you're still alive. Good. And then a crunch against Claydol. Oh, marvelous. Alright, Kangaskhan. I mean, no, yeah, I, I'm on Claydol's side. <laughs> Come on, Kanga. I mean, ah, can I stop saying Kangaskhan? I mean, Claydol. Looks like we both have the same thing in mind. Get rid of that Kangaskhan. And it looks like we're both going to... Unfortunately, not fulfill that goal. Go for a fly, because I do not want to be on the receiving end of another Stone Edge, except I think Stone Edge can actually still hit me while I'm in the air. It's just that it's not very likely. I don't know. I'm about to sneeze right now. I can't really blame Claydol Fancy on Claydol. Really blame it on Kangaskhan and Aerodactyl, so yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. I, I swear I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my god, and I missed! Are you... There is no hope. There is no hope. That is... that is it. That is the last of the hope that I had. And nope, I'm not gonna sneeze after all. I didn't cut any sneezing out, I just didn't sneeze. Who could I use now? I'm probably just gonna on Bato. I don't want Bato to get too overleveled, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. But uh, I keep finding instances where Bato is clearly the best choice, and that kind of aggravates me. Like Empoleon is so good that I need to use it a lot. Dizzy Punch, crud. Well, it's a normal type move, but it could very well confuse me. Please don't, please. Okay, good. Dizzy Punch isn't a guaranteed confusion. What happened to the audio? Okay, so, a bit of a story time. The reason the audio cut out during that part is because Soundflower was kinda glitching out. And the reason Soundflower was glitching out, I think it mostly had to do with GarageBand. And GarageBand quitting on me basically meant my commentary during this part of the episode was not recorded. So, as compensation, I have to do post-commentary. I'm doing it in GarageBand. I originally wanted to use the voiceover function in iMovie, but that wouldn't allow me to do post-commentary for very long, either muting the sound or letting the sound play, so I'm recording this in GarageBand. Now that makes a difference to you. Just I just wanted to use one application on my computer, not two. This should be a one application function, I don't know. Plus the fact that the first time I tried to redo this, I... I was almost finished. So maybe it's just that post-commentary for that long was just too much, and I had to take a break or else it just wasn't gonna work. So, okay, I'm just gonna do this this way. Not pleased about it, Ursa Ring evolved for Teddy Ursa. It's vicious, and it used to break break on Bato, which is not good! You're not a trainer that can be taken lightly. Aw, I have a lot of useful items. You weren't using items in the battle, you were just using your Pokémon. Okay, I have cut out some useless footage, and that footage is mostly Pokémon that we've seen before. I don't want to fight those guys, even though I led to an item down there. I don't care how good the item was, I'll either fight those guys off-screen or just not get it and deal with it. And also, pop around the repel. Oh, another downside to using the post-commentary function of... Uh, it's not a post-commentary function, it's more of a... A voiceover function. In fact, that's what it's called. Downside to using that 
because I was making this video lag like hell. But now that I'm using a different program to do that, and to record audio and to display the video that I'm commentating over, I don't have any lag issues and I can see everything as it's happening. But I still wish that I had the commentary that I recorded just before, because I'm re recording this part of the game for, I mean, commentating this part of the game for a third time now. I'm just not, not good. Never thought that issues like this would happen to me, but they are happening to me. And it feels bad. But I deal, I deal. I, I have solutions to things. You don't believe me? I, I'm, I'm solving them right now. Okay, there's the needle. Not that it mattered where I could see where the video was playing, but still. Oh, and it's worth mentioning here that Christian still doesn't have Poison Fang, because I forgot to teach him that off-screen. He's Reflect here, which helps out. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Also, what was I talking about? What was I talking Oh yeah, Poison Fang. I don't have any heart scales at the moment, and earlier today I was trying to find some in the underground to no avail. I did find a bunch of fossils, though, which I will show off those fossils, I guess, if I remember to do that in the next video. We'll see. We'll see. For the time being, light screen. Dual screens are up. I really appreciated Playdoll's efforts to do this. It's not like with Arcanine spamming Helping Hand where I felt like it wouldn't really make a difference. Here, it makes a huge difference. Doubles! Defense and Special Defense and Shellgon. Forgot to mention that the reason I was showing this battle is because of Shellgon, the base form of Salamence. One of the two legendary, pseudo-legendary Pokemon of Hoenn. And this is Shellgon, which evolves from Bygone. I am very weird when I improvise my commentary, which is all the time, because you shouldn't plan out your commentary word for word. I don't know, this isn't supposed to be a scripted endeavor. Have I actually ever done a scripted video? No, I haven't. Never done a scripted video. And I don't care. I love it. Just like I kind of pop. That is a joke I made in my previous attempt to co-comment- wait. <sighs> co-commentary. It's not co-commentary, it is post-commentary. Let's just deal with it. Please. Critical hits suck. So, I wasn't really looking forward to doing the rest of this battle with... out. Sheldon. That's not my partner. That was Claydol that was my partner. You see what happens when you don't script your videos? And you also see what happens when you... I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that, actually. Just don't script your Let's Plays. I've never actually been part of a scripted video before, which is weird to think. Well, I guess when I voice acted for Cyrus and Brian, I... That was scripted, but... Everything else I've done, pretty much not scripted. Just x scissor it up. And then that'll be the end of it. I really do miss Poison Fang. One of these days, I will go get... Yeah. Later today, I'll go get a heart scale. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Because I want to have that... Well, it doesn't really make sense to have it by the next time I battle the, the Legendary, because it's a Steel-type. Spoilers. I'm also a fire type. Okay, it's just it's heat train, okay? Let's not let's not kid around. And this is Shellgon. Yeah. I already brought that up, okay? And you see the things that I forget. But this is Tauros. This is someone we haven't seen before. It's a normal type that I feel like a lot of people haven't really seen before. I mean, well they've seen it, but they don't really remember it. It's obscure, but it also seems like it would be pretty powerful. It's a bull. Also, I think that there should be I don't know, uh, a pre-evolution to this guy that also ties it with uh, the Pokemon Mill Tank. I I think of what I'm going to say, but I don't say it. Giga Impact really sucks, but I think Yang survives it, and she's able to take out Tauros with a Brick Break. Brick Break. I love having a fighting type. In fact, I think this is actually the first time in a Pokemon Let's Play that I've used a fighting type. Weird to think, but it's true. And... Yeah, Tauros just went down in one hit, no contest. Giga Impact would have left him open for another turn, even, so there's that. Aside from Christian, now, at this point, Yang became the last member to reach level 60, so really, there was no reason to make that statement whatsoever. Dawn Fan, ground type evolution of Fanpy! Very tough. It's a good rollout user, I think. 
what I remember. So, I think I have a little trouble with Dawn Fan. Actually, I don't, because for some reason it uses Rock Tomb, even though it doesn't make sense for it to use Rock Tomb. It doesn't make sense to use Rock Tomb because A, Yang resists it, and B, the speed drop isn't really significant because Yang is able to keep going. Like so. Keep moving, keep moving, keep pushing, 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 pushing. That's, yeah, uh... I don't know what I was doing there, but I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, because improvisation, as I said before, I don't script my videos, that would be dumb. Hold on, let me get my- what am I supposed to say first? Next! Oh, yeah. Wouldn't it be ridiculous if we Let's Players scripted our videos? Yeah. Yes, me. That would be very... Yeah, I'm done. I'm done doing that. I stole the joke from the sappy make you happy. Okay. I couldn't resist. It was such a good joke and I just butchered it. Probably. I don't know. Yeah, you probably didn't laugh. Or maybe you did. Can I stop speculating on that? Can I move? Can I progress with my commentary? Can I smash this boulder? I can't. Yang can. Yes. If you can't do it, I can't. I can be. I can't believe that Apple hasn't come up with a product called Eye Candy yet. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but it, it could be something. Something cool. I don't know. I'm not saying this as an Apple loyalist. I don't consider myself an Apple loyalist because I only have the I have a Mac and a and an iPhone, but I don't buy each new iteration of said products. So yeah. Champ we've seen before, but Brava is a ground dragon type and the evolution of the ground type trap pinch. And it evolves in a Flygon, which is awesome. Its stats are pretty balanced, but it's fast, it's got a high s speed and high attack. Trap pinch has a high attack, but miserably low speed and pretty much average everything else. My Brava, oddly enough, has less attack than, my, than uh, trap pinch does, even though it's evolved. But I guess it trades off for more speed and maybe some other stats. The fact of the matter is, I love Flygon for its design and for its power. It should be a Pokémon that gets a Mega Evolution in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be very confused because, really, it's been deserving of being able to Mega Evolve since Mega Evolution was thought of as a concept in the Pokémon franchise to begin with. I was probably I probably dragged on that sentence more than I had to when Christian grows to level 60. And my Brava needs to recharge. Isn't that nice? Yes, it is. Everything is nice. Everything is Batman. Everything is my Brava. My Brava! I wish you were a Flygon, cause I like Flygon a lot. And also, so I can get more of my Pokedex filled up. And light screen. Thank you, buddy, because I believe next up this is gonna be cut out, but Gaia yeah, Cedra and also Dragonair. So we've seen those before cutting. And Drake and Jarrett. Losing is a happy occasion. Losing made it clear to me you're all crazy about Pokemon and I didn't really have enough time to completely comprehend what I was saying. I switched Jesse out to the front because I felt it was Jesse's turn to grow to level 61. And along this way, it's actually not the... or is it? Yeah, I think this is actually the exit to Stark, from Stark Mountain, so this is a good way to go. But I got curious and went over here. Because I'm pretty sure this is actually where you're supposed to... how you're supposed to get to the exit of Stark Mountain. It's not really an exit as it is just the end of the cave. It's like the back store room at, from any huge store, like Target or Best Buy. Those are the ones that I know. There we go, there's the exit. My instincts tell me the volcano's treasure is just ahead of us. See you around, Josh. You might be the toughest besides me. I'm flattered. Very flattered. But what are you doing in there, Buck? <laughs> Check this out, Josh. This is the Magma Stone, the treasure of Stark Mountain. Since I found it, that makes me the greatest trainer out of everyone. That's some weird logic. Thanks, you all helped it happen. And by all, you mean just me? You mean Barry, too? I don't get it. Ugh! Whoa! Wow! 
<laughs> that was wicked. The volcano was in shock from that. It might be so shocked it'll erupt. Nah, that can't happen. I think you might eat your words. See ya, Josh. Say hi to that zippity trainer, buddy. Yeah, I will. Don't you worry about the thing. There's not really anything else to do here, because this is a dead end. So, we actually have to come through this cave a second time in order to access the legendary that is in here. Because, yes, I did say that there's a legendary here, and I said that well, that legendary was Heatran, and there was a point where I would often confuse Heatran and Heatmore. I think a lot of people were like that. At least I hope I a lot of people were like that, because that's going to make me feel stupid otherwise. They do have such similar names, but they're such different Pokémon. He trains this legendary that ha that's also part steel. And Heatmore's a power. It has a lot of attack and it's pure fire type. Plus, they're, they're both hated. I mean, they're both not really liked that much. So maybe they are alike. I don't know. But Dunsparce, Dunsparce. Out of all the Pokémon out there, Dunsparce is my third favorite, behind Lantern and Sceptile. Dunsparce, I admittedly, is not the greatest Pokémon, however it does have a high HP stats and average everything else, and a fantastic move pool. Plus, it has access to an ability called Serene Grace, which makes it a superb paraflincher, which is pretty much its niche. Uh, you pair it up with Glare and give it a move like Bite or Rock Slide or Headbutt, and this guy will be laying down the pain. If you want to know what Serene Grace does, because I forgot to mention what it was, it is an ability that doubles the likeliness that a move with a secondary effect will allow the secondary effects to happen when you use it in battle. So, yeah, it, it ranks up there with Togekiss as being a good paraflincher. In fact, I actually think Togekiss is a better paraflincher because it has more stats and it's faster, but I digress. I like to I like Stunsparce more than Togekiss. In fact, there was a time where I didn't really like the Togepi line at all, but that's since changed. I think Togepi and Togetic are pretty cute. I think that Milana is gonna Thunderbolt your tail. But really, I want Dunsparce to get an evolution or a mega evolution because it deserves it. It's such a cute land snake. It's one of the cutest Pokemon out there. And I'm glad I'm not alone on this because, as it turns out, there is a huge following for Dunsparce in the Pokémon fandom, which I am appreciative of. They want Dunsparce to succeed. Dunsparce Mega Evolution and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, please! Even though that's not very likely. And this is Rampardos and Scyther. I think we've seen Rampardos before, because this is pretty much the Evolve form of Kranidos. Massive attacks that average everything else. Scyther, on the other hand, is new, at least in this playthrough. Scyther is a bug flying type, and it's best known for evolving into Caesar, which is best known for being a technician user, which is an ability that strengthens the base power of moves that have less than 60 base power. Seems a little redundant, but trust me, it's not. It's best known for using this in conjunction with Bullet Punch. Also, Caesar can Mega Evolve, and its Mega Evolution is pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. Uh-huh. Did not, did not quite get that down, which is a bad thing, because Air Slash is weak. Or, actually, Jesse's week 2 air slash. I digress. Did I lock my door? I did. Uh, I'll just have to deal with it. I'll just have to deal with it. Well, we dealt with a lot of crap today, so I can deal with a little more crap. I still have to finish a paper, like... And by finish, I mean write the conclusion. It's a busy week for Sickbee, I guess you could say. Yeah, because LP or Unknown did just launch this week, and... It's I had to edit Mega Man, and I had to cut this part because Marowak is uh, something we've already seen. Skylar, we went down. We can stick it out. But I had a win streak going too bad. Yeah, Skylar's the boy. He's not the girl like Breaking Bad would have you believe. I don't remember what I was doing here. Oh yeah, I was looking for a potion for Milana and Jesse. That's right. Because we don't have Buck anymore. We don't have the luxury of healing after every battle. So we just have to deal with it. Whew. And the freedom to use Rock Climb is so liberating! It is liberating. Because now we can go everywhere. We've already fought these guys, so I don't really pay much attention to them. Oh well. Did I fight these guys? Yeah, I did, I did, I did. I was trying to remember how I got along here. I think at the time, I forgot whether I had fought them or not, and didn't really want to take that chance because it didn't seem important, and blah da 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 
Just rock climb's a good shortcut through here. Even though I could have easily used one of my three escape rooms, I decided to keep trudging through this cave to see what else I could find, like this Ultra Ball. Gonna be helpful against Heatran. And rock climb down. I go over here. No, no, that's not where I go. Yes, I do. That's where I'm going right now. Don't know why that area exists. It's weird. Ugh. And I did notice that Pokeball over there, and I wanted it because I wanted to see what it was. Now I was willing to fight those trainers on screen, and see if we could find any more Pokemon that we haven't seen before to show off. And uh, as it turns out, the item that they were guarding was a, a, the team I already had, so it didn't really matter. Oh well, I'll, I'll reveal what the team is when we actually get it, so it's not going to be revealed now. I don't want to spoil the fun of watching this video. I know it's a really long one, and it's been stressful to make because of all these... Because of technology being weird, computer lagging, and for no apparent reason, because I didn't think I had been pushing it to its limits at any point during the day. Larvitar. It's a rock ground type, and also a Pupitar, which is a type Tyranitar, which is a rock dark type, best known for being a pain in the butt with its sand stream. And it's a pseudo-legendary of Johto. So it is a pretty freaking good Pokémon, but we don't get to see Tyranitar in this episode, just a forewarning. I apologize, I would have liked to see them too, but that's just not possible right now. Ugh. And of course Drapion, which we've already seen. If it was just Drapion that I was fighting, I would have cut this part out, but... Because we already saw Eren use one, but uh, here... Since it's a double battle and the other guy was using Pokémon we hadn't seen before... I left it in, and we got a Paralysis on Drapion. Awesome! And double awesome, because the Paralysis actually kicked in on the turn that it worked on. And my Cargo! We saw this briefly, but we didn't fight it, so... Here's our chance of redemption to actually fight my Cargo. And it's at this point that I focus Milana on attacking Drapion and Jesse on attacking my Cargo. Took me a little bit to decide what I wanted, but it, I got to it in the end. My cargo doesn't have the best special defense. It's mostly defensive, I think, if I remember correctly. Plus, the rock type makes it vulnerable to grass. That's right. Weird for fire types to take neutral damage from grass types, because the only reason that would happen is if it had a water subtyping, a rock subtyping, or a ground subtyping, and there's not many Pokemon of any of those combinations. Double and Camera are ground, my cargo's the only rock, and Volcanion, which is, hasn't even been released yet, is water. Goodbye, my cargo! And yes, gotta love my cargo and Mega Camera Up. Mega Camera Up is awesome. You hate Mega Camera Up, you hate life. I really want to use that joke in a Mega Man video about Mega Man music. Mega Man music! It's an acronym. No, it's not. It's a, it's an alliteration. That's what it is. We're so happy even when we lose. I can unleash the real me. Can't you see the real me? Da da. Overheat. Yes, overheat is a powerful fire type move. That, uh, it has high accuracy. It has a power of 40 and accuracy of 90. But when you use it. You... What was I gonna say? You lose two stages of your special attack. And I was just checking in to see if anyone could learn it. I wasn't planning on teaching it, I just wanted to know. And I believe at this point I actually use an escape rope. I was about to say, go back and check the power of the move, but it's 140. So yeah, I know now, in post-commentary. Out of that Stark Mountain and into this sooty place. Oh yeah, I check it here. Yep, 140. Just like I remembered. It's kind of like Draco Meteor, or Leaf Storm, what other moves are like that? Uh... What other moves are like that that lower your special attack by two stages? I don't- I can't remember off the top of my head. That might be it, though. Maybe there's a Fairy-type move that's like that, I don't know. You say the Magma Stone was bound to the Legendary was true, then? If so, the Volcano's Pokémon may awaken and cause an eruption. Gotcha, Gramps! I put the Magma Stone back! That Magma Stone was keeping the 
volcano Pokemon under control. It's all right though. I'll, I can go put it back myself. Blech. Don't adjust the sound, because remember doing this all in one take. Not cutting out any of my commentary, and this is the end. Not the South Rogan movie, or really collaborative movie, but uh, anyway. Thanks for watching. In the next episode, we are going to go after Heatran. See you later. Take care.